Hey, small scale gardeners. This is Tom. Welcome to Small Scale Gardening. It's our nice little YouTube channel all about gardening in small spaces. And uh, hey, karma. <laughs> That's kind of why we have this wicking bed and a fence to keep her out of that. She's very interested. A little garden tour. It is late June now and things are really kicking into high gear. We have our wicking bed here, wicking bed there, our, our, our uh, self-watering basin back there. We'll check this all out. Um, got potatoes up front and peas in the back. Business in front, party in the back, right? Uh, but we've got potatoes and it's really come into a nice uh, potato forest while I've been gone. I've been on, on the road a bit. So um, it's time to add some uh, soil to this bed and uh, want to build up the soil, let the potatoes produce as they grow taller. And uh, I've got a wheelbarrow of compost. We're going to add it to potatoes here. Um, one thing I'm going to talk about this week on smallscalegardening.com, a little preview for you, is the propellers. We have propellers all over. <laughs> And uh, you know, we did some weeding yesterday. Um, you kind of see here. This is what happens. This is what happens, Larry. They uh, they all grow up into trees, and eventually they become big trees. But uh, these propellers are everywhere, and we need to uh, take care of them. This is the flower garden that we did, and you can see even down here we've got <laughs> got little maple trees. So we're gonna have to take care of those. But I'll add some soil here. I'm gonna remove all the the propellers first. The peas are doing great. Whoa, the dog is running. The peas are doing great. Um, these peas I got over here from my friend Jim, and they are producing, which is awesome. There's a little pea there, looks good. And a couple of peas over here. Two little guys, I had one yesterday. Sugar snap peas are awesome. And the new peas actually have a flower. So these are the new peas I planted. I just wanted some more. Uh, these peas, I just I wanted a little more density to really try it out from seed. So I've got some that were um, that planted earlier this year. And these were planted in June. So <laughs> they've just been going bonkers. And they love the, they love the wicking bed. Um, it has been raining a little bit today. Not much. But uh, I was contemplating yesterday adding some water some there. The water level is actually pretty low. So I'll probably be adding water for the first time since I've constructed this. I have not added any water to the wicking beds since starting, believe it or not. So I'll probably be adding some water this week if we don't get a good rainstorm. Um, and we just want to keep everything going. So bed number two got uh, tomatoes on this edge. We're ready to trellis these tomatoes up. They're getting pretty tall, so, so we want to get those trellised up. Again, you can see the carpet of propellers, and they will grow into maple trees if you let them. So uh, two things we're going to be doing, three things actually. We'll be um, trellising up these tomatoes on our, on our conduit here, um, clearing out all the propellers, and then third, I want to get some more beans going and some more cukes. So, <laughs> aha, I found our culprit. Okay, let me get into that in a second. So um, we've got onions in the middle doing really well. Some of the tips have been broken off, which caught my attention. The other thing I noticed is uh, some of the leaves have shown some damage. These are cukes that come up from seed and you can see one right here look at this guy just shredded and this guy just shredded what could be doing that my good old friend the slug the slug that's a slug so even in a new garden we have to deal with slugs I hate slugs so we're gonna be dealing with that um, you can see some carrots coming in down here down here, got some little carrots going. So yeah, I'll be planting some more carrot, uh, some more cukes, and some more um, and some more green beans. This whole there was a whole row of pole beans right along here, but some of them didn't pop. So I'll plant some more there. You know, we want to 
nice, nice healthy wall of, of green beans and cucumbers there. So other than that, things are going really well. Haven't gotten any tomatoes yet. Got a lot of buds. So things are coming along. It's only a matter of time. Let the pollinators do their job. But overall, really excited about how this is all shaking out. It's just looking really good, really thick. Um, and we'll just have to see what happens with these onions. I've, I've struggled with onions before, I'm not gonna lie. So this is really exciting for me to see these getting so thick uh, in the garden bed here. So things are moving along. Gonna have to take care of the slugs. Oh, there's another one too. Look at that little bugger slug. So time to go to war as usual. Um, might be applying some sluggo to, the, to these to take care of them. Uh, beer traps, I've tried those before. They don't work, but um, something like sluggo I think will work. And we just, we don't want slugs to eat all of our produce before we even get it going. So we'll be taking care of that. Okay, rain gutter grow system, the self-watering basin. Uh, I've got some seedlings here. These are survivors from my original batches and it's time to plant some and ditch the rest. You can see even here in these little cups, we've got maple trees growing up everywhere. So what a pest. Um, peppers are doing great. And I'll have to be checking these over very carefully for slugs. I don't see any right off hand, but you can see, I mean, we've got peppers coming. Look at that, peppers coming, which is really cool. More peppers. Look at that, great stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I think I've added a total of 15 gallons to this wicking bed. So it, it actually gives about half inch of water, maybe a third of an inch of water there. And um, <clears throat> five gallons does the trick. Plus we've been, <laughs> I can feel the raindrops hitting my head, but uh, it's not, not too bad yet. So um, yeah, so things are coming along. I've had the best peppers ever using this kind of gardening. So I'm really excited about that. These are the green peppers or green onions that I started from table scraps. You can see how they're just going to town, huge. So um, I'll be watching for slugs in these plants. Um, we don't want slugs on our, on our peppers because they'll, they'll do the business on these as well. So that's just a problem that I've had. And uh, obviously seeing a couple slugs in here, it just reminds me that they probably were in the old compost and uh, just caught a ride as I use the old compost and reuse the old material. That's one of the bad, bad things about reusing old material. So there's the garden. Hope yours is doing well. A um, couple things I've got coming up just as a preview. I'm going to build a small planter and plant a patio salsa garden in it. So that'll be a lot of fun. I've got a really good tomato plant over here couple tomato plants that I can use, some pepper plants that I can use. Actually, that batch over there is even better. Um, so I'll be doing that. You can see these guys already have some peppers coming. And then uh, I've got some more, more basil and some mint. Mint, ba two different varieties of basil. I got the Minneapolis uh, Farmer's Market. So I'm gonna be using some of those in the grow bags and show you how that all works. So stay tuned, lots of fun. And stay tuned for battling slugs, little buggers. Anyway, this is Tom from Small Scale Gardening. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you are having a great weekend. And stay tuned, come to smallscalegardening.com. You'll find more information there. I'm gonna post up some articles and keep talking about these self-watering systems and uh, wicking beds and all that good stuff. Show you some how-tos and how to do all this. I'm really excited because I think we're going to have a really productive year. So this is Tom. Hit subscribe, hit like, hit share. And uh, also one more thing, smallscalegardening.com and also Small Scale Gardening, the Facebook group. Come over there, ask questions, interact, and uh, join us over there. So uh, I hope you have a great weekend. Remember, let's grow. Let's learn, do, and grow. And have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.